All oh, right, just got done having my debate sort of with uh, Watchman D, and uh, just it was an interesting conversation to say the least. Um, it was not really much of a debate; it was more kind of just meant to be a discussion on uh, dispensationalism. And just want to first point this out to all my enemies out there who will probably attack me and say, "Oh, look how unprepared he was and everything." Um, it it kind of strayed away from the subject. It basically strayed away how I thought it was going to go. And I'm not complaining. I'm not you know take an issue with that. I'm just saying that it didn't go as I thought it would be. And, and here, how I thought it would be was that I had a bunch of notes on the subject of dispensationalism and, you know, scriptures talking about, you know, dispensational changes. And I thought that how it would go was that I would read a premise, you know, one of my premises, he would maybe respond. I might give a response, read another premise, and then he would respond. And then so on. We would like take turns talking and, you know, it, it didn't go as planned. So, and it kind of strayed away from the, the stuff I had written in my notes, which I originally thought was gonna was gonna be kind of the main crutches of the whole thing because that's, that's normally what I cover when I cover dispensationalism. But um, and plus too, the thing about live debates is that I do get a bit nervous. I will admit that. So sometimes I might stutter a bit. Sometimes I might mess up what I'm saying because I I I do find I do get a bit nervous. So um, just say what you like about that. But uh, I'm just not good at live speaking because it just it's just not a, a strength for me. But especially when it it kind of strays away from what I thought. Again, not complaining, not taking issue with that. I'm just saying that I'll just show you my notes that I had written down. So basically these notes I had written down were basically a bunch of premises that I had that I would, you know, read out, you know, maybe he'd respond, maybe, you know, the first premise was kind of just what I don't believe, which is hyper dispensationalism. And, you know, premise two, premise, you know, I, had a, I just had a bunch of premises basically. And I would read them out. I would, you know, basically say, what I would believe on the issue, and I'd read a premise, he'd respond, and then I'd give a response. That's that's how I that's how I've seen most debates. That's kind of what some debates I've been in. That's how it's been. So, you know, uh, again, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it it's and, it, and like I said earlier, it kind of strayed away from that where it, it was kind of dispensationalism, but in the sense of not really talking about dispensational changes to more of kind of. It went into baptism and it went into repentance and, and my definition of repentance and you know and again I'm not taking issue with that I'm just saying that that uh, that it, it basically didn't go I'll just put it this way it didn't go as planned as how I thought it would go okay so uh, it, it basically was not and again I'm not complaining I'm not you know trying to come at Watchman D or anything I'm just saying that uh, it we covered subjects that I didn't I didn't think would be covered or I didn't you know expect would be covered in a dispensational debate. It was kind of subjects that weren't really, weren't really that related to, 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 to dispensationalism. Again, not complaining, not making, taking issue. So I did sound, I may have sounded a bit unprepared because I kind of was, okay? I, the, the stuff we covered was stuff that I had not, you know, written notes down and kind of prepared for beforehand. Um, because when I get into a debate, I do try to prepare for it. And, you know, when I'm told what, what the subject will be about, I try to make notes that are relevant to the subject. Um, but dispensational is kind of a very broad term. So, uh, I just kind of wrote down, you know, the, kind of the broad definitions of well, it, Old Testament, New Testament changes, uh, the gospel being given to the Jews, to then to the Gentiles. Uh, but I didn't really think it was going to go that in depth, but you know, I was wrong and it was, it was, um, it kind of, I mean, pretty much nothing, like, like almost like m most of the stuff I had in my notes, again, show my notes, most of the stuff I had in my notes, I never really got the cover because, well, for example, we covered premise three, which I didn't really read it out. I just kind of briefly mentioned it, which is where the, the blood of Jesus Christ brought in the New Testament and how Jesus Christ, you know, brought in the New Testament, basically. Uh, but then I, I didn't get the cover premise four, which talks about the gospel wasn't fully revealed to Paul's ministry, which not saying that nobody was saved before Paul, but, you know, again, my my notes covered it in more detail, but... Um, so that's the whole thing. It was interesting to say the least, like I said earlier. Uh, not complaining, not saying, oh, it was it was whatever. Uh, it was just, you know, it was interesting. Uh, didn't go as planned. Uh, a bit, you know, a bit, some of the subjects that were covered were, were something I didn't really, I haven't normally seen covered in a dispensational debate. So it was kind of like, oh, you know, I didn't think it was gonna go there. Uh, but, you know, with a with kind of a debate, you know, it can kind of go anywhere, but uh, yeah, so, uh, if I ever, you know, debate, you know, debate kind of Watchman D, you know, or next time I go on with them, you know, I will kind of have more notes on more subjects, 
you know, because the mistake I made was that I only had notes on just the bre the basics of dispensationalism. Uh, I didn't think it was going to go that in depth. So basically, uh, and plus too, the fact is too, like I said earlier, you know, it's like I, I'm not good at like live speaking. You know, I do get a bit nervous. So there is that. So I stutter a bit. I kind of mess up what I'm saying. Uh, it's, it's, you know, I'm sure we all get that once in a while. It's called stage fright, but uh, that's all. So it was interesting. It was, you know, uh, I, again, I wrote down his points he made up or he made, he said he made, sorry, again, just have to do this video because I got to get going soon, but I wrote down his points. Uh, we'll look into them further. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying, like I said earlier, you know, again, I was a bit nervous, so I kind of didn't really want to, you know, again, when you're nervous, you kind of just say things that whatever. And again, I'm not attacking Watchmen. I'm not trying to do this as attacking. I'm just kind of giving my thoughts on the whole thing, on the debate. So anyway, so, uh, you know, I'm not re retracting on the stuff I said. I don't know one. I'm not saying yes or no as a definitive answer. I'm just saying I'd have to look into it further. But it was interesting. It was, you know, uh, somewhat uh, interesting. Uh, it did, again, it went a bit off topic, but hey, it's kind of, I think it's kind of cool because I did, you know, uh, and the thing is too, it, it did kind of show too that it is better to kind of talk to them because the big difference between being contentious uh, and then just having a discussion. Okay, that, that is kind of a, a thing I, I kind of got wrong is that I accused Watchmen of being contentious, which is not really true. He was, you know, having a discussion on doctrine is not really being contentious. So that's kind of, you know, uh, an error there that I, you know, it was kind of a, it was just a false doctrine. Again, this is not scripted. This is just kind of on the spot. I have to get going soon, but uh, yeah, so again, to all my enemies out there who will try to attack me, you know, I, I was unprepared because it didn't go as I thought was as, as I thought a dispensational debate would go, as the ones I've seen. Uh, and, and again, the notes I had were only just like briefly about, you know, how, or only kind of the basics of dispensational changes. I didn't think it was going to go that in depth. Uh, I thought it was just going to be like a, a, a short, simple conversation. So again, I was a bit unprepared because it didn't go as... I've seen most dispensational debates go. So uh, it was interesting. Um, so no, so it wasn't because, oh, you're unprepared because you just don't know everything or you just, you know, whatever. It's just, what do I say? You know, my enemies are just gonna attack, me. people who who just don't like me, my enemies, they're just gonna attack me over any anything I say. So it's just, whatever. But God knows my heart and God knows that, you know, my intentions were, were pure and God knows that, you know, I, I you know, was genuinely, you know, interested in having a discussion and that, you know, it strayed away from the original, you know, subject or the points I had written down, but whatever. Okay. That's my whole uh, uh, thoughts on the whole thing. Uh, and again, on the subjects where I said, I don't know, you know, like a verse of like Acts 2.38 where I said, I don't know. I'm not saying yes or no. I'm just saying that I don't know. I had to look into it further. I haven't really, I haven't really, the reason why I haven't done anything on baptism except for that one historical video was because I don't, I haven't studied out the issue that well. Okay. I know what baptism is that it's an ordinance of the church but I could go off with that for a while or the whole thing of James you know could James be written to Christians you know again I, I said yes which you know it looks like they could be saved okay but that doesn't change the fact that it, what, it, it is geared towards people in that time of Jacob's trouble again the book of James is you know a book that is very you know it does have a lot of good stuff for the instruction and righteousness for the church age there is that so when I say, I don't know, I'm just saying that, you know, it looks like that. I don't know. I'm going to have to study it further. That's all I'm saying. So to all my enemies out there who try to try to attack me over that, you know, just, just get a life. Seriously, just go do your own thing. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not infallible. I never claim to be infallible. Um, it, it's just ridiculous. So and, and not, not, not saying the debate was ridiculous. I'm just saying that my enemies who just look at any little thing I say and try to attack me over every little word I say, I just, I don't know, okay? If I, if I say I don't know, I'm just saying, not saying yes or no, I just, I don't know, you know? It looks like it could be saying that. I had to look into it further. That's all I'm saying. So, that's all I'm saying. Uh, just my thoughts for on the whole thing. Again, just on the spot. Uh, I have to get going soon. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. And to all my enemies out there who just want to attack me over this, go, get a life, seriously. I mean, just go do your own thing. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren out there. Goodbye.